Hey YouTube! Welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Culinarily Challenged, although today it's a little different. Um, whenever possible, I like to cook with the kids. Okay, Jay made me say that. But Daniel's learned how to make a very awesome dish. Which is better than his. He thinks. Uh, it's kind of an all-American favorite, and it's pretty simple for some people to make. It's meatloaf, but Daniel, who may be an aspiring chef one day, now has a dish he can call his own. Yeah. So today, we thought we would share it with you, and Daniel is going to be our star chef. Yes! Yay! So Daniel, why don't you tell us what we have? Well, what do we need to have? We have to have ground turkey, which is healthy. Yeah, much less fat than ground beef. One egg. Some onion, onion soup, soup mix and breadcrumbs. Some Mexican style four cheese blend. Yeah. And milk. How much milk? Um, about a half cup with no About a half a yeah. cup. Uh-huh. And then what do we cook it in? This. Our double layered loaf pan. Yeah. And what are you gonna put on the top? On the top? Mm -hmm. Some ketchup. No barbecue sauce, just ketchup? Dad, this is my dish, not yours, so sure. And they say it's better than mine, I don't think so. Actually, I've heard around that our mine is better than his. Yeah. Well, meatloaf is very easy to make because, well, they Brian can make it. And what we have here. Is a pound of ground turkey which I'm going to put into the paw. Okay, that was cold. Into this bowl. And then I'm going to pour in a cup of breadcrumbs, which, if we put it out outside, the birds will come and get it, of course. So I'm going to put that in. And then I'm going to put in this little tiny onion soup mix. And then sadly, I'm going to have to put a little baby chicken in here. But it's going to be for a worthy cause. A baby chicken? Gross! Oh, Daddy Brian, you eat those all the time. Okay, I got that in. Now, I'm just going to bring this out. And next, I'm going to mix it all together. Cold! And, well, it's very cold, and I'm just going to mix it together until it, until you can see it comes together. Uh. That looks delicious, Daniel. Yeah. So, what's next? Well, next I'll put the cheese in. Okay. May you put that in, assistant? Lovely assistant. No, this assistant. Okay. Okay. And then what do we do with that? I start. Oh. Keep mixing? Yeah. Okay. The cheese is in. Are we ready for the milk? Um, yeah. Sure. Okay. We'll put our milk in. And keep kneading. Yeah. Oh, now it's colder. Your assistance is no longer needed. So, Chef Daniel. Yes. Who taught you how to make this meatloaf? Well, it was both you and Daisy at the same time. Really? How was it me? You kind of helped me. I it kind of helped you? Yes. I think I more like kind of helped you. You didn't really let me make meatloaf as much as Daisy. Oh, Daisy let you do more stuff? More um, meatloaf cooking. I don't think Daisy has ever cooked meatloaf. So are we all done kneading? Um, yeah. Okay, so I what's did, next? I then put it into that into our loaf pan, okay? And then I start. How do we put it in? You just plop it in there? Huh? Yeah. Maybe we should do it in like two handfuls instead of one giant glob. Alright. Okay, and pack it down in there. Wait, let me see more. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. I know. It doesn't have to be exactly <laughs> half. Okay, plop it down in there and pack it into the corners. Okay, so you don't have any air bubbles down there at the right. bottom. Okay, get some more in there. I need to level it a little. <laughs> you don't need to level it. You can do that after it's done. All right. Okay, get all the meatloaf in there first. Okay, 
the second half. Do you enjoy cooking this, Daniel? Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's fun. But cold at the same time. It is. Cooking meat life is very cold. Very cold in your hands. Yeah. So... Now that I put it all in, I'm next going to... I know everybody really liked this last time you did it. Yeah. So what dish would you like to learn to cook next? I think about spaghetti. Spaghetti? Spaghetti's pretty yeah. easy. Yeah. I'm going to start with the basic, like, grilled cheese. Well, Daddy Brian's culinary skills are not that great, so you'll probably pass me pretty soon. If you're making meatloaf, it's not looking good for Daddy Brian. Okay, so we're all ready. We got the meat in the pan. So, Chef Loaf, what's our next step? <laughs> well, next we put it in there at... And how hot is it? 450 Fahrenheit. Really? Okay. Yeah, 450 Fahrenheit. So before we started cooking, which we didn't tell you, we preheated the yeah. oven to 450 degrees mm -hmm. because this meatloaf will cook for Good. about an hour, sometimes right. up to an hour and 20, depending on how thick you make it. Right? Right. Okay. Okay, everybody. I know last time I said an hour, but I misspoke. So it's been 30 minutes, and we're going to take the meatloaf out, and we're going to add our topping on it. Actually, Chef Daniel is going to add the topping on it. Yeah. And you can use lots of different things. You can use ketchup, you can use tomato paste, you can use barbecue sauce, whatever works for you, or some combination of any of those things. Get creative. And never, never, never let your kids take hot things out of the oven because all it takes is one mistake and it is scarring for life. Mm -hmm. Okay? Here we go. Okay, and Daniel knows that this tray is very hot. I might want to go take it for a date afterwards. <laughs> Not that kind of hot. Just be careful, okay? Okay, so next I'm going to pour this. Show us how it's done, Chef Daniel. I'm going to pour it in the middle, which is about where that black dot is. Okay. I'm going to pour it big. Oh, wow. And then I'm going to spread it around. So, so do you think you'll be a chef someday, Daniel? Yeah, I'm hoping to. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what kind of chef I'll be yet. I might be a bakery chef because they get to make pies and cakes and cookies and brownies. It looks familiar. So, Dad, I want to ask you a question. Okay. When did you? What? How old were you when you first made me? Um, <laughs> uh, let's see what, like 36? <laughs> Daddy Brian was not exactly shown how to cook when he was a kid. So our meatloaf is good, and we're going to put it back in the oven for another 30 minutes, and then will we be ready to eat it? Yes, we just need to cut it up. Okay. And again, this is still really hot, so we have to be very careful. See you in 30. It's a lot. So, and now we've gone from the oven to the plate. And Daniel, I have to say it looks delicious. Yeah. And I'm very proud of you. You did a fantastic job. Thank you. Look how many people it feeds. Yes, one pound of meatloaf and all the stuff that went with it will feed all seven of us tonight with a little bit of leftovers. Yeah. So not bad. You have anything to say about it, Daddy J, Mr. Cameraman? No, I'm still sick. Mm -hmm. Likely excuse. Daniel? Yeah. Great job. Yay. So, even though we may not make the most fantastic, elaborate, foodie type foods, yeah. this is how we eat here at our house, and we hope you enjoy it. And if you try this recipe, let us know how it was. And we'll see you next time, YouTube. Bye bye. And I believe that our love its way through the current as the way.